Hello YouTube, this is uh, Chris Sparkman. I'm doing a video um, based upon Gerard Morin's little experiment. If you're not familiar with it, please go look it up. I'm not going to go into it. So those of you who are familiar, um, I'm playing with the high voltage side of this neon sign transformer. And I saw another video with a gentleman who took a, a, a toy car that was covered in a thermoreactive paint and wrapped a wire around it utilizing a similar circuit like this and was able to get a, a temperature reaction from the paint. Now Gerard's been talking about that since the very beginning with uh, using his temperature meter. So instead of putting out energy, it seems to be pulling in energy uh, or radiant energy. Um, so what you need is to, something to start it off, right? Uh, being the, the battery in this case. And you'll see here in a second that I'm able to do something very similar with my own um, my own body heat I, I'm that's what I'm, I'm the conclusion that I'm coming to anyway so a brief overview you can pause the video and look at this spec sheet uh, this is uh, you know it's a polymer sheet covered with this li liquid crystal compound that uh, reacts to heat so let me give you a little demo of this thing please uh, excuse the glare okay so here we go and it will uh, dissipate rather quickly and return back into its uh, normal color. So the way this works is black is uh, below its range and uh, it's below 68 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Or, and then uh, the highest point is 135 degrees Fahrenheit, 57C, when it will turn black again. And that's when you uh, reach, reach the top uh, uppermost portion of its, uh, of its range. So, uh, we'll go ahead and start this up, and you'll see something pretty interesting. So you can see the spark gap. I don't know if you can see up there. Now, I'm going to put this over the top of it. I'm going to start the reaction. Hopefully this will stay there. It's going to stay there, not... Yep, okay, so check it out. It's not going away. It will actually get... Uh, it's actually going to get uh, dark in the middle, depending on how close I get the paper to the actual spark gap itself. You can see it, yeah, there we go. Now it's starting to mature. Okay, so, yeah, this will just, this will, will continue to increase until it gets to the, uh, the range, the, like, the ring at which it's able to pull in energy, I guess. Okay, so... All I did was start the reaction, and then it, it stayed there. Now, I'm going to turn this off. Okay, and uh, as you can see, it'll stay here. Um, and the centermost portion is black again, so apparently it's over 135 degrees Fahrenheit, which it's not, at least in terms of the, the, how, the heat that I can feel with my hand. Um, but it is definitely over the range of this um, this material so what I think is happening is that that little spark gap is pulling in energy and once I start the reaction with this it just expands and it'll stay there for quite quite a while actually so okay so I'm gonna pull this off real quick and I'm gonna put a piece of black electrical tape over this and uh, you know it's obviously it's carbon because it's going to be black like that so let's see if we get a similar reaction with the carbon covering there you go not going away Okay, I don't want this video to be too too long, so I'm just gonna go ahead and touch here, and uh, you can see here it's how quickly it goes away. It's right over the spark gap. This thing will stay there. If it's the closer it is, the longer it'll stay. But as soon as I pull it away, there we go. So that is that's very very interesting. Any thoughts on that, folks? Please comment. Thanks. 